Hey, what's going on guys? So I just published my Electron from Scratch course on Udemy and as usual, pay no attention to this price right here. I have uh, a code in the description, a five day code for $9.99 and a 30 day code for I believe $13.99. So I created this course because Electron is something that I've always been interested in. I think it's fantastic that we can create desktop applications with JavaScript. And I mean, some of my favorite applications are actually built on Electron, like VS Code, Slack, Discord. So this is a, a project based hands on course, like most of my courses. And we're going to build three different cross platform applications. We're going to build them from scratch and then package them up. And I'm going to give you a demo of all three in this video. All right. And it's not it's not published yet. It didn't you can't even see the content here just yet. But by the time you're watching this video, it will be available and I'll have the link in the description. So the three applications we'll be building, I already have packaged up and I have right on my desktop here. So the first one is called Image Shrink and I'll go ahead and open it up. So this is a, an application to shrink images, to optimize images for websites. When you upload an image that is quite large, it really slows down your site. So this is a nice little tool to have to just optimize them and make them smaller. And you can basically just choose an image. So I'm going to grab this uh, this test image that I have here. This is on my desktop and just to check out the size. So if we go to get info and we look at the size of this image, it is uh, right here. 197 KB, 197 kilobytes. And I have it loaded here and then we can slide this to change the quality. So 100 would be you know, relatively the same size, but we're going to go down to, let's say, 25. And if I click resize, what's going to happen? You can see image resize to 25 percent. We get a little alert We're using materialize for the, the UI here. And this path, this output path just opens automatically. And we have our image here and you can see it's been resized to 46 KB. Okay, so depending on where you put this, you know, if I put it way down here to like six and resize, you can see that it changed to 17 KB. Now, if I open this. So this is the resized image and you can see, yeah, that that really doesn't look good. So let's go ahead and make this like let's do 25. Okay, so we'll open this and let's see preview. Okay, so this doesn't look bad. Let's open up the original. Okay, so we set it to 25% quality and that's the difference. And there's a very large size difference, but I mean, the quality isn't isn't bad for 25 percent. So I think it's a really useful application just to have on your desktop. And if you need to upload images to a website and shrink them, then you can do that really easily. All right. So let's go ahead and close that up. And the next one that we're going to create, the second project is called Sistop. which is a system and CPU monitor. So this is actually a tray application. If I double click it, it opens up, but it doesn't open the window by default. It just sits in the tray. So if I click on the tray icon, it'll open up the interface and it's just going to watch my CPU. It gives me my CPU model, which is an Intel Xeon. And every two seconds, this will update and this this progress bar will update. We can also we have a little tab interface here. We can view the system info like computer name. It'll show the system uptime that will constantly update. And then I have some settings. So we're going to be working with notifications every time the CPU goes over a certain percentage, which by default is set to 80. It's going to give us an alert and then we can also change the frequency. So what this means is after five minutes, it'll show an alert again if it hits this number. And you can change this as well as the overload. So I'm going to change this to five just to give you an example. So I'll save that. And right away we should see an alert. There we go. So CPU overload, it's over 5%. And if we look over here, you'll see that this progress bar will be red anytime it's over 5%. See, it's green now. And as soon as it hits 5%, it goes over. And again, it updates every two seconds. So we can go ahead and set this back and we're we're going to create a store to hold our data inside of a file in our home directory. 
Okay, so we'll be working with data. Uh, there's also a menu item which you guys can't see, but I have a view item to toggle the navigation just to show you we can integrate the menu. All right, so that's the second application. And if I X out, it doesn't quit. It'll still show notifications and all that. So we have to just manually quit up here. Now, the last one is called bug logger. And it's just to track logs. Now, this actually uses React. We're going to set up React with Electron and also MongoDB. So this is connected to a MongoDB Atlas database, which is a cloud database. So if you distribute this app to your team members, they're going to see the same logs, the same data, which right now is empty. So I'll just say this is a test log and you can put a user in here so you know who who added it and you can choose a priority. We'll say moderate. And we get a little alert here and it shows up in the table and it's stored in my MongoDB database. Okay, we'll say another log. Let's say maybe Kate uploaded this one and add that. And there we go. So we can add logs, we can remove them and it'll get removed from the database. There's also a menu item, which again, you can't see, but there's a logs menu item and I have a clear logs option that will just go ahead and clear all the logs from the database. Okay, so we're going to set up React and Webpack uh, basically in our renderer process here and uh, communicate with the main process, which will then communicate with our database through Mongoose. Okay, so those are the three applications we'll be building. I know they're not giant applications, but I think that you'll learn quite a bit. And after the course, you'll be able to, you know, build your own desktop applications, which is really cool. And, uh, and we're going to package them all up. So you have these executables completely cross platform and that's it. So if you guys are interested, I have the link in the description and that's it. Thanks for watching.